Welcome Cancer, Dedicci here with your monthly horoscope synopsis. It's August 2013. You know your ruling planet in the 12th house of your horoscope. That has to do with dreams. And being a water sign, you're very, very sensitive. A lot of the Cancerians that I meet often don't give themselves enough credit for the intuitive uh, level that they have. You know, the other water signs of Pisces and Scorpio are given a great deal of credit for that. During the first couple of days of this month, I want you to really focus on that. Especially if you're having any promptings from your dreams, your intuition should be very, very clear at this particular time. And again on the 4th, when we see the Moon in conjunction with Jupiter. And uh, that's important because right now you've got three very, very powerful planets conjoining in this sun sign of Cancer. And Jupiter is in its best position here for the first time in 12 years. Now, what I think this is saying to you is that you can actually make your dreams a reality and on some level, some of your intuitions are really prompting you in a way that you know, may not make sense rationally. But in the heart level, this is what you've got to trust right now. So whatever dreams you're having in the first couple of days of the month, use that to your advantage, especially on the 4th, the 5th, and then on the 6th we see the moon, your ruler, moving to the second house of finance. So you can quickly translate some of this stuff, some of these intuitions, these gut feelings you've got into practical financial money-making uh, activities. You see there too, we've got the conjunction with Mercury on the 5th. So you need to advertise yourself. You need to get out there and let people know what, what's available to them to put your best foot forward there. And again, to use your dreams and your intuitive responses as a basis for uh, some of these plans that you have in future. I'm not going to give you every single lunar transit this month. You can do that by going to our website and looking at the daily readings and we've got our monthly readings there as well that give you a bit more of a detail uh, every day or so. But another important transit again to do with your money is the transit of Mercury, a very clever communicative planet on the 8th to your finance sector. That I think is very, very significant and again it has to do with uh, communication and negotiation and actually achieving what you want in terms of your financial financial goals. Be careful though because uh, Mercury in your horoscope rules the 12th house of expenses. So when the 12th ruler is moving through this second house, it shows that you do need to spend money to make it. Now don't be too conservative in that respect. I don't think it's a good idea to spend money willy-nilly, but if you consider that you're going to get a return on that investment and you're cautious enough and well planned, uh, executing something of that nature can actually pay off in the future. So this is really an investment cycle for you. Moon is in conjunction with Venus in the third house. A lot of communication with your loved one is necessary at this time, around the 10th of August. And then we see the Moon moving to the zone of uh, family and children, 10th, 13th. So these are important dates for you to connect with your family, to do a little bit of nurturing, especially if your mind has been engaged with uh, business and uh, you know money-making schemes. You need a little bit of love and attention. You need to give it as well as receive it. Uh, and that could be a problem for you around the 13th because we see your ruler in conjunction with Saturn. That shows a coming together with someone you love, but maybe not getting the responses that you want at this particular time of the month. So the middle of the month is uh, going to be a bit of a challenge for you there. You know what you want, but you can't get it in the way that you want it. Speak up. Don't let that crab-like nature of yours have you introverting everything. You need to come out of your shell literally, and talk about what you want in the, in the realm of your relationships. Things could improve for you dramatically with the transit of Venus to your fourth house of property. This is very much a beautification process of uh, your family life. But, you know, Venus also has a lot to do with self-love. <clears throat> and if you've been feeling down, not beautiful enough, or, you know, whatever, you go through those cycles where you just start feeling great about yourself. Venus in this fourth house can reconnect you with yourself. And of course I've been saying here to many of the different star signs, and I'll say it to you now, that being in love with yourself is very, very important. The most important relationship you have is with yourself. So this is a very important transit. The 17th of August, Venus moving to your fourth house. We see also at the same time, Moon moving to the seventh house. So I'm going to tell you, you can transpose these good feelings of relationship with yourself at that time to the world outside. People will notice this. The more your relationship with yourself is in tune, the more people are going to want to gravitate towards you. You've heard that before. I'm just repeating 
you know, it's nothing new. If you don't love yourself, how else is anyone else going to love you? Mercury to the third house. It sounded like Mercury to the rescue. Well, it could be because this enhances your communications on the 24th. <coughs> it really gives you the edge in any sort of business transaction, any sort of negotiation in which you need to, um, you know, get what you want in the fine print. So look through that and do what you can, 24th, 25th. Uh, Sun and Mercury also can join there. That's very, very important. That makes you shine. It's also an ability to absorb more information. So students out there that are listening to this can do very, very well and achieve a lot. This is a time when you should be stepping up your study routine, uh, 25th and 26th. Mars moves to your second house on the 28th. Second house is finances again. So the month finishes it on a note with Mars, one of your best planets, really bringing some good fortune. This is a time when all of those plans you've had could start to see something positive happen in the real world. Actual money, cash coming in. Look forward to your company next month, Cancer. Hope this has helped. In the meantime, there's more detailed information for you at my website. And of course, uh, if you want a more personal reading, I'm here. I'm always here. Look forward to that. Take care now. Bye-bye.